Well, hey, folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel. I've missed my turn off. <laughs> welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to Farm Sim 22. Oh, my. Yeah, we're here on No Man's Land. And uh, I've forgotten where I've put my roads, so. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a detour to get to this one. Now, didn't I stack a huge pile of stuff here, like, last episode? Okay, maybe we did use the honey. Hmm. I just gotta check something here, just, uh... Alright, that's the grain mill. Well, what the oh, okay. Here's where we've got all the... Strawberries we have extras. Alright. I'm still not convinced we didn't have a little extra honey going on, but maybe not. Maybe we just uh, chewed through it all. How's the beets? Getting beady. Alright. Very, very nice. Let's go get the job done. And of course, the job to do here first thing this morning. So. Lime the new, soon to be a corn field. We gotta lime it, and we gotta roll it. Well, your lines are hooked up, you're just having a hard time pulling this thing. Hmm. Our new cornfield, or as uh, Sooty fondly called it, a brand new European country. <laughs> it's not that big, is it? Alright, let's go. Whoosh, oh, you're not going to hit the edge, you bugger. Well... I'll come back over it. Hmm. New problem. I know it's a little bit of a waste of product, but then again, we do uh, we do make it ourselves, so it's not like it's expensive. In fact, we probably pulled enough rocks off of this field to supply all the lime it's going to take to uh, finish it. So there you go. That's the sort of thing you want to see. Should have got that unit that goes on the back, gives you the extra six meters. Would have been nice. I didn't realize how much of a difference it makes. But six meters, that's a lot of space, man. It's a lot of space, man. I don't know. Oh, yeah, of course. Come on. I hate that it always seems to take twice as long to just catch up again. You know what I mean? Like you go to turn when you notice you're doing something like that. And it takes half the length of the field before the thing seems to ever catch up. God. Didn't expect this to be a pain. Just run them nice and close together, I guess. There we go. Look at that overlap. Bye, guppies. <laughs> Are we gonna have enough fuel to get through this? Oh, possibly, eh? And then we'll go get some more.
I'm just wandering around a lot. I'm trying to follow the very faint lines in the field, but between the glare off the windshield, the fact that it seems every inch you go forward, it strays a quarter inch to one side or the other, which is, of course, uh, many feet when you get right down to it. All right, just a little bit left. Nice. Come on. Don't be leaving gaps. I'm tired of going over things just because I missed them. It's that whole if you're going to do a job right, do it right the first time. Oh, come on. Yeah, of course. Oh, all the... No, well. We'll get this done and then I'll just walk along the edge there and get the rest. Come on, get over to the end. There you go. I don't care if you're not over the edge of the field as long as you're overlapping the last line. I'm fine. Come on. There we go. Gotcha. Gotcha all. Alrighty, there we go. Alright, let's go trade this in. Now, I'm pretty sure I don't actually have diesel at the farm, do I? I don't think that we do. Hmm. No, there's not, is there? I've got a little repair thing. I've got a wash station. I've got water. I don't have a way to get diesel. All right. Well, you know what that means. It means we want to stop ourselves from running out. We're going to have to... Uh, I thought that was on the far side. It's not. Eh. That makes it a little more awkward. Come on, turn back. There you go. Was this even going to fit? I mean, well, barely, eh? It's because the tip of that one is... Uh, Kind of pushed out of place. See what I mean? <coughs> of course, excuse me. Why is that push so far out of place? It's like the entire back end of it is shifted over too. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> oh, again, excuse me. 
I hate it when that happens while I'm recording because I can't just sneeze once. And I don't have a mute function on my microphone, so I have to kind of block as much of it as I can and then hope it stops. <laughs> oh, come on, just... Why are you not? What? I want to talk up. Thank you. I guess I was standing too close. Yeah, apparently. You have to stand at least a meter away from this to hook anything up. Alright, good to know. Good to know. Let's go roll some property. Okay. Sorry if I sound a little bit frustrated. I just uh, made my first video on Myth of Empires, and for a good hour and a half, I fought with trying to create a server and then trying to actually log into the game. And it was just one of those things where, if there could be a bad experience to get it done, it was there. <laughs> you know, absolutely. And. Uh, so I finally get in, get a character, get started, do a couple of things, and a notice pops out that they're shutting the server down for maintenance. Please log out. So, yeah. All in all, it was a, a pretty crap experience. <laughs> you know, which is never good when it's your first, you know, poke at something new. And it turns out to just be one incredible hassle after another for very little reward. Yeah. Oh, we can, uh, I suppose what I should do here, in fact, is... works this way. No, that's not the edge of the field either. Maybe the other end. I don't know. It's such... I really like the way the old system worked, you know? Well... I don't care. I'll do half a row. If it's going to make it work, then it's going to make it work. Here we go. I pretty much have to use it because the roller doesn't put any sort of distinct marking down that you're done. You know, it might on plain soil. Maybe it's my fault because I'm lying first. But my theory is, is that you don't just sprinkle lime on the surface. You have to work it in. You know, the, the idea of the lime is to change the pH of the soil. If you don't get it into the soil, how the heck is it going to do that? But, uh, apparently these rollers, although they change it to the same state, they don't actually roll anything in. Which really makes me question, what the heck is the point of it at all? You know? You've already got a crop down there. Like, we've got seeds in the ground, so you don't want to disturb them that much. Yeah, I, I, I really don't understand the whole... The whole thing behind these rollers, I don't. 
if you guys want to fill me in on it. I know most of you are a little smarter about this than I am. Then, yeah, feel free. You know, I would think after you go through plowing, cultivating, seeding, lining, that the ground is pretty much prepared. Although I would like to do lime before I even cultivate. But that's just me. Like I said, I, I don't see the point of having lime sit on the surface. Other than to satisfy a game parameter that tells you you need to have lime. So yeah, if you guys can tell me why they've added this roller part of it. I would, uh, I'd really like to know. I mean, I don't mind doing an extra step. But... It doesn't seem to accomplish anything. And... It's not like you don't have enough to do. You would sort of like everything you do to have a purpose. When it comes to... Uh, is this the same line? Am I going back over the same line again? Oh, I see. Nope, this is a, a new one. Doesn't seem we actually got anything at the end for some reason. I don't know why that would be. going to uh, come up and tell me there's weeds. <laughs> Something we really haven't done here. What are you doing? Uh, I guess I didn't quite press the alt hard enough the first time I hit the X button. Yeah, just one of those things. Oh, stop. Of course, now I've got to lower it back down. I wonder if that's the way it works, you know, if you just have days where things are either going to run smoothly or they're not. <laughs> you know, maybe that's where that whole thing that people say, oh, I should have just stayed in bed. Maybe that's where it actually comes from. It's because over the course of time we've discovered that odds are if you're having a really dumb day, it ain't going to get better. <laughs> it may have high points, but it ain't generally going to get better. You know, and if you're having a great day, well, don't muck with it, because it can only get worse. <laughs> ah, such an optimist. And I suppose the worst of it is, is I wasn't even going to uh, feature that particular thing this morning, that particular game. I wanted to get another episode of uh, Kingdom of Atham up. Problem being, they did release a patch, but they still haven't re uh, 
reintegrated the quest system into it. And unfortunately, it's not one of those games where if you do something, and then 15 minutes later it gives you a quest to do that thing, it doesn't care if you've done it or not, you will do it again, or you will not pass the quest. <laughs> you know, so if you've just put up a, a house, and now it tells you to put down four foundations, you had better be willing to expand your house. Yeah. You know, or you put the roof on it, and then it tells you to build four roofs. What are you going to do with four extra roofs? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's one of those things. Um, some games do manage it, you know? If you uh, decide because you picked up a stick and a rope and a rock that you're going to make your axe right then, you know, when the quest comes up to make an axe, it'll just go, okay, you have one, you pass next right well that just seems ridiculous why don't we just shut that off there we go we know it's just that one little edge so we use the edge as a guide just run along it we get a nicely rolled road out of it. What the heck, right? That can only be a bonus. Yeah, for some reason I missed that one little bit of a patch there, eh? Hmm. Okay, when we get to the end, we're going to uh, jump out and see what the field has to say for itself. There we go. Alright, you should be able to do that on your own. There we go. Oh, it doesn't want anything at the moment. Alright. says it's coming along pretty good. So, awesome. Now, do we have the capability of putting fuel in at the farm? I mean, I gotta go drop this thing off, but it just seems uh, kind of counterproductive to drive the length of the map because you're low on fuel. You yeah, know what I mean, man? Yeah. I also have a feeling that the way I've been using this. Uh, this second shed's a little bit counterproductive. I think we could do a little better. <laughs> there we go. Do that. Detach. Ooh, that went well. Alright. Let's see what's... Uh, What's what, shall we? Puh. Um, probably, I think this is where we might find such a thing. Decorative? Others? Nope. Uh, buildings? Here we go, containers. 16,000. Oh, fuel storage, okay. But that doesn't automatically just come with fuel, does it? Where is this? Might.
Okay. No? Uh-uh. Yeah. So we have to fill it. Hmm. Well, what the heck can I fill it with? I don't think I can use my water container. Um, I don't think it'll do that. Now, I believe I have a drain somewhere so that I can drain things if I need to. particularly want to use that. Let's have a look at what we might have. Mm-hmm. Well, that was useless. Okay. Uh... Liquid support. So this guy will haul fuel. Um. What would it cost to lease you? Seven hundred and sixty-five dollars. All right. Okay. That was the other, uh, the other factory we piled stuff up at. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's still got a big pile of it in the back. Okay, cool. I knew I wasn't losing my mind, but it was boards, planks. That's what we had thousands of extras of, not the honey. We had lots of honey, but it didn't, uh, not enough to overwhelm anything. So leasing the trailer was a cheap part, of course, because now we have to fill it with diesel fuel. That is not likely to be cheap. Side, I think it is. Yeah, not convenient, but it'll work. And it's not convenient because this is, of course, the uh, the trailer we all know and love to hate, which is to say, you can't back the thing up unless you're well a lot more skilled than I am, <laughs> and I do mean a lot. Uh. Just to make this at all doable, I'm going to do the long way around. Nice big fat circle, and in we come. Okay. There we 
are. We're filling that up and emptying our wallet out. <laughs> oh, this is going to be pricey. <laughs> this is going to be pricey. But it's one of those deals too, isn't it? Once you've done it, it's done and you likely won't have to do it again for a while. I mean, we've only got 500 liters. And they really should give you a price, you know? Like, have you guys ever been to a, a station where they haven't given the actual... Oh, I've got, well... 72? Really? That might not be a, you know, actual... Oh, I can use my debit card. Ooh! Why am I paying out of my bank fund that? Oh, man. 69 cents for unleaded. Good lord. Add a dollar to that, and that's what we pay per liter right now here in Powell River. Yeah, a buck 69 a liter for regular gas. Hey, well, we've put a thousand bucks in there so far. So it looks like that's actually about right. Those, those prices they've got listed on that pump that looks like they are about right hmm okay so it could be a lot worse <laughs> still that uh, no I guess that is right used to be diesel was considerably cheaper than uh, your normal gas now it's not it's probably cheaper than the best quality of gas i.e. you know your Super unleaded supreme god gas stuff that you get for the dumb gold pump at the end that only one person out of a hundred uses. But uh, for the rest of it, yeah. As for your regular gas, yeah, the diesel's not cheaper anymore. So I guess those days are gone as well. Of course, so are the days of paying 69 cents for freaking gas. But I do remember when it was hitting the, the mid-90s and everybody was going, Oh no, if it breaks a buck a liter, you realize it'll never get cheaper again. Because it would sway from the 90s all the way down into the 70s, right? You know, because there is a little bit of competition. Even in a small town like this where we're so isolated, they could basically charge you what they want and go, Oh yeah? Well, fine. Jump on a ferry and go buy your gas somewhere else. Oh, by the way, the ferry's a hundred bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so, they're not, uh... This is gonna cost us a fortune, and it is taking freaking forever. This is ridiculous. I should just go home and let it fill up, I guess. <laughs> what are you... You're death aside, okay. Let's push you over here. Yeah, it will freak out the flowers. Big container of that. Well, I see we're still filling up. We got about five grand in there now. Alright, this is obviously just about empty. So, is this one full? Yep, it is. Alrighty. 1,000 liters. Let's see. Okay. Don't think we've got any else kicking around. Still filling up, are you? Mine got me. I don't think she's seen us. Ready? Hi, dear. <laughs> Don't look so freaked out. Boo! <coughs> no? Eh, she's being, uh... Mmm! Yeah! God, she's weird. 
Hey, what do we got? Postcards. An observatory. Hmm. A postcard of a parking lot. Alright. That must be one of those wish you were here things. Smokey's Black Book. Yeah, we could get the real prices on our gear, huh? I want out. I want to see the rest of the world. It looks nice over the... Oh, look at the windmill. Boy, that's just one damn thing after another, isn't it? A Citroen chasing a 2CV. <laughs> How are we doing here? Any money left or what? 7,000 liters of diesel. Huh? I think it holds 10 tops. So. We're about eight grand into it now. <laughs> Anything? Uh... Whoa! Look at that. <laughs> I was a little over generous with the placing of the building, eh? Oh, somebody told me to. Oh, how the heck did they expect me to do that? If you want to get rich, look on the roof of the shop. Now, how am I supposed to get up onto the roof of the shop? It's like the tallest building here, man. Oh, we're done. It was uh, just over $10,000. <laughs> No, somebody left that down in the comments. Something about either getting rich or getting really good money. Go up onto the roof of the shop. And I don't see anything up there. Hmm. I can't really get any higher here without any sort of gear to do it. Oh, well. Okay, we now have a full trailer of a fuel. Just seems foolish not to fill the tractor here. Pack all that fuel back to the farm and then stick half of it in the tractor. We'll just spend another grand and fill her up. And there we go. No point shutting the motor off. That would be another $413. Okay. Alright. Let us head for home. Oh, we're already at 40 minutes. So I think this is uh, <laughs> pretty much going to do it for us here. Wow. I had no idea we were that far in. So this thing is only a lease, so i got to empty it and get rid of it. And of course, now that we're done with the uh, mainstays of getting that field prepared, we should also... Uh, oh wow, I can see getting in there. How am I ever going to get out again? Um, consider maybe running to a new day. Oops. <laughs> Press the right button, dude. Hmm? 
What? There we go. Let's overload the diesel. Thinking, no, no. <laughs> Now, don't tell me I fill that tank and then I have to actually pay for it. Or maybe that's if you don't fill it, you can do it that way. So you don't actually have to drag the fuel here. Alright, now it should say something different. Yeah, 79.99. Man, we paid a lot of money for that, didn't we? Poo doggies. Alright. But, we should just uh, send it back on its way. But, I'm going to uh, end the episode there, as we are, as I said, quite, uh, quite a bit further on than we probably need to be. So, do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like. It helps a bunch. And uh, I look forward to reading any and all of your comments. But till next time, do take care of each other. 800 eggs. Good going, ladies. And ciao for now.